Ask the question. So, <coughs> ask the question. Uh, so tell me about your case. Okay, so a uh, patient referred to me, uh, you know, 20 year history of some migraine headaches, uh, came in, uh, basically had, um, <coughs> had a three month headache that she said wasn't like her typical migraine. Um, so basically uh, did an assessment, uh, found some upper cervical dysfunction, you know, correlates to uh, cervicogenic headache, treated that over the course of uh, 10 visits, um, and uh, complete resolution of the cervicogenic component of the headache. And again, one of the interesting things was like long-term follow-up because the patient has come back to me for various other reasons. Um, no return of that headache and also her migraine seemed to be less but uh, the interesting thing is because her typical migraine trigger was a barometric pressure change so I'm not sure if that has anything to do with the therapy what did you do for the treatment treatment was uh, unilateral PAs because at uh, C1 in neutral and C2 in neutral so we think that that would be um, a one and then uh, two three uh, was just a uh, rate two to four as described by Malin. Um and then some neuro re-education of the postural stuff, um, some deep neck flexor training, uh, and then some therapeutic exercise, serratus anterior, uh, middle lower trap strengthening. Was there any like other comorbidities or something unique about the patient? Well, yes, the patient had cerebral palsy, which also con contributed to that postural dysfunction. So she's doing good long term and all that, right? Yeah, you see her like once or twice a week. Uh, in, in the beginning, I, th I saw her twice a week for the first two weeks, and then kind of tapered down to just once a week, and then had you know. Uh, skip a week, kind of taper it off. So and she kept maintaining the gauge. Yeah. Excellent. Great. Thank you. All right.